Hi there, I'm Jamie Dyer. This video is about streaking for singles. Not that kind of streaking. The singles in streaking for singles are single colonies of microbes, like bacteria, yeast, or even archaea. These tiny single-celled organisms are too small to see by eye, but a single cell can divide so many times over a few hours or days that it makes a pile of cells big enough that we can see it. That's called a colony. And because all the cells in the colony originated from that first starting cell, they are all pretty close to genetically identical. Scientists use single colonies of microbes for lots of different reasons. Here's one example. In this cool paper, scientists were studying how wild yeasts have sex. Yeasts are a favorite food of fruit flies, and the scientists suspected that the yeasts might be doing it in the fly's digestive system. To test that, they took two different yeasts that had different mutations. If they mated, the offspring would have both mutations. They fed the yeast to flies and collected the fly poop on petri plates. But the scientists couldn't just look at the cells in the fly poop and tell which ones had which mutations. They needed to separate the cells, and because it's hard to do genetics on individual cells, they needed to grow each one into a colony. Then they could test whether each colony had each mutation. So how do you go from a pile of mixed up cells to single colonies? Well, you streak for singles. To get single colonies, you need to put individual cells far enough away from each other on a petri plate that when they grow and make a colony, the colonies are not touching. But you can't pick up an individual cell and put it on a petri plate because the cell's too small to see. So what you have to do is dilute the cells by streaking them onto a petri plate. It works like this. When I dip my paintbrush in paint, it starts with a lot of paint on it. When I rub it on the paper, in the beginning, lots of paint molecules come off the brush. But eventually, the paint is so diluted that I can't even see it anymore. When you streak for singles, you do the same thing, but instead of using paint, you use microbial cells. To pick up the cells, you don't use a paintbrush, you use a sterile inoculating loop or, my favorite, a toothpick. Make sure it's sterile. Once the cells are on your toothpick, you streak them onto a petri plate. If you streak enough, then the cells on the toothpick will eventually become diluted enough that you'll be laying down individual cells, which, if they're far enough apart, they'll grow into single colonies. Remember, they're too small to see. You'll only see the colonies after they've had time to grow. When I was diluting the paint with my paintbrush, I had a big piece of paper to dilute my paint with. But petri plates are small, so we've got to be efficient with the space. You can streak for singles with one toothpick on one plate, but you have to streak a lot to get the cells diluted enough. That means you can't be afraid to let your lines touch each other. If you streak like this, you won't get single colonies. So let your lines touch. You can be more efficient with the space on your petri plate if you make multiple streaks. Look how quickly I can get the paint diluted if I use multiple fresh paintbrushes. You can do the same when streaking for singles. Streak your first toothpick onto just a portion of the plate. Discard that toothpick and get a new sterile one. Now, streak from the region you just covered into a new portion of the plate. Make sure you streak over the previous streaks and into a fresh part of the plate. Repeat once more. By using multiple toothpicks, you can even streak multiple strains for singles on one petri plate. Making multiple overlapping streaks is almost guaranteed to give you single colonies. One last thing. Auger is basically like jello, so it's super easy to accidentally stab your toothpick into it. So be sure to streak gently. Don't forget that when working with microbes, you should use protective equipment that is appropriate for the organisms you're working with. And always use sterile technique. Remember the mating yeast? The scientists found that the yeast waited until after they had been pooped out before they had sex, possibly as a way to avoid mating with their siblings. What interesting questions will you answer by streaking for singles?